Welcome to our deep dive into the world of machine learning with Sklearn. Today, we're tackling a question that many data scientists encounter, how to effectively use the predefined split function for cross-validation. Our viewer is curious about a specific example from the Sklearn documentation and has a couple of key questions about it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the predefined split function in Sklearn. This function allows you to specify your own train test splits for cross-validation. In the provided example, we have a test fold array with values 0, 1, minus 1, 1. The minus 1 indicates that the corresponding sample is not used for testing in any fold. When we call ps.getNSplits, it returns 2 because there are two unique values for testing, 0 and 1. The minus 1 is ignored in this count. Now let's look at the splits generated by the predefined split. The first split uses index 0 for testing, while the second split uses index 1. Finally, if you pass the PS object to the crossval score function, it will indeed perform cross-validation using these two specified splits. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The predefined split function in Sklearn uses unique values in the test folder, excluding negative one, to determine the number of splits. For example, with test fold set to zero, one, negative one, and one, the zero index indicates the test set, while the rest are for training. In this example, the first and third indices indicate that the test sets are one and three, while zero and two are for training. The negative one index means there's no trained test split. It's important to note that the integer values matter. For instance, if test fold is set to five, zero, negative one, and zero, the splits remain the same. Finally, for a typical k-fold split, you can use test fold set to 0, 1, 2, and 3. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The predefined split function in Sklearn is a cross-validator that uses a predefined array to determine which samples belong to the training and test sets. It identifies unique folds from the test fold array. In our example, the unique folds are 0 and 1, indicating a two-fold cross-validation. The function then applies constraints to distribute indices into training and test sets. The first constraint excludes index 2, which is set to MAGAS 1. The second constraint groups indices 1 and 3 together, while the third allows index 0 to be with them, since they have different values. Ultimately, the only valid distributions are train with indices 0 and 2, and test with indices 1 and 3, or vice versa. This ensures all constraints are satisfied. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for. If it did, 
please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.